Hey beautiful people, thank you so much for deciding to click on this video. I thought I should start this video with a little thank you. I'm feeling super appreciative today as always, but I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. Today I have a very, very busy day working. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. I know I completely switched the content on my main channel and that requires a lot more planning, pre-recording, filming, all that stuff. So I thought I would give you a little glimpse of that behind the scene Andy's just leaving now also have some organizing and cleaning to do around the house and some other fun stuff going on so I thought I'd just pick up the camera out vlog today we are back home and yeah ready to get back into a normal schedule start filming all that good stuff so let's get started I'm actually I'll show you guys what I'm working on so my office is a mess but I just had to switch out my lens on my main camera. This is a wide angle lens. This is the one I use. It's a 10 to 18 millimeter. Let's bring this, grab my tripod. And I'm gonna be doing a little something in my closet for today's video. So if you're watching this right now, you're actually gonna get a little sneak peek at a video I'm working on. I'm just starting it today. It's going to be a 30 day challenge for my main channel. And this is an idea I had for a long time and I've been wanting to do. And that is a 30 day of having a minimalist wardrobe. So I'm shooting some B-roll. Today's day one of filming. So I'm trying to plan this video out a bit and see what shots I wanna get since I'm just starting. But day one is gonna be choosing the clothes and I gotta find a way to like display it. I kind of already went through my clothes. I plan on taking this entire shelf, kind of combining it down here. Hopefully it'll fit. I might have to use Andy's closet actually, but I want this tire top shelf just to be the clothes I'm wearing for this challenge. Wow, it's dark in here and it's also a mess. So let's get that up. Rise. Oh my gosh, side note, we got our bed in like two days ago. Finally, after like five months, I'm so excited. It is a mess right now. I'll make it in a little bit and show you guys, but here's a little preview. Max slept with us last night, so his blanket's on the bed. I love it. It looks so nice. We were able, we have a sleep number, so we were able to lower it pretty much all the way down. It does show a little bit, which I was worried of, but the comforter kind of hides it. And there's actually a way, Andy and my dad figured out, to prop the actual bed up a little bit. I think it just, I don't know, they made it look easy when they just kind of lifted the corner up and put a little piece of wood under there, so then it'll be completely flush. Anyways, this mess here is, I was kind of going through, figuring out what my wardrobe's gonna be. So this is, I guess, more of a winter capsule wardrobe. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna see what this looks like and how many pieces it is. I might get rid of some more. For now, I wanna get some B-roll shots on my camera before I rearrange my closet, kinda do, I have an idea for a voiceover for the intro. Oops, Andy's calling me. <laughs> yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah. Tell her it's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, love you. All right, love you, bye. Bye. Okay, so I want to get some b-roll shots and that's the thing with doing stuff like this You really have to plan out. I have an idea for my intro I want to show like how hard it could be like problems I've had with having too many clothes whether it's a messy closet and I have like my old declutters that I could show I'm gonna do like trying to find what to wear Finding pieces with tags still on them a year later and I'm gonna do a voiceover So I need to get some b-roll clips of me in my closet fumbling through clothes, things of that nature. <laughs> so because my closet's a little bit tight, that is why I like the wide angle lens. So this point here is where a typical kit lens would stop. A kit lens is like the ones that come with the camera. So that would be like as wide of a shot as I would be able to get in here, which isn't bad. You know, I could still see that. I still have to move around with the placement of the camera, but I wanted to show you guys. So this one, Boom, it takes it out that wide. So it's really nice. I mean, look how close the camera is to all of this. And here, it actually gets it all in the frame. I usually like having Andy here to help me because sometimes the tripod's just a weird kind of angle. I think I could do this video myself. Uh, so we'll see, I got the first clip. So I like to go back. Plan on having some type of voiceover over stuff like this 
I need to get some close-up shots of the, I always make sure I'm in frame, but some close-up shots of the clothes and a few more different angles of me kind of going through the clothes. It's very strange. It's kind of like a, just a vision that I get in my head that I think would work well because a lot of times I have Andy or my mom help me and they cannot make sense of what I'm trying to do, what I'm envisioning, why I need all these different angles. And then when it comes together, they're like, oh wow, like I didn't know you could do that. Or, you know, I really enjoy the creative process of it. So I got some different angles here. I got one there. Got some there, just different viewpoints, all doing slightly different things. So got that, now I'm gonna switch out this closet. This will be fun. All right, I have done it. There is my minimalist wardrobe and there is 24 pieces total, including what I'm wearing right now because I wanted to keep this. And basically how I came to that number was there is no one set number for minimalism or having a minimalist closet. It's really what's most convenient to your life and what you really love. So that can be taken a lot of different ways. For me, if I had to do laundry more than once a week, I would go absolutely crazy. That would not make my life easier and I would not be very happy. So so I wanted enough clothes to get me through a week. I have seven pairs of pants. I have two jeans, two leggings, two sweatpants, one pair of shorts. So for me, I just wanted to have enough options where I can mix and match things, but also just have one week worth of laundry. So that is what I decided to do. And those 24 pieces include everything from what I sleep in to what I work out in and normal clothes with like one or two nicer tops that I could dress up a little bit if I wanted to. And I guess with COVID and not being able to go a lot of places, this definitely helps keep my outfits more casual where I don't need really dressy pieces. I have some that would look perfect for a night out to dinner, but nothing really more fancy than that. And what I did with my workout clothes is for the tops the bottoms I have like leggings and sweatpants and stuff like that and number two it's also hard that it's winter and I need like warm clothes as well and what I did to really help things with mixing and matching is for my workout tops obviously I do have specific workout tops that are like meant for that but I also have a lot of pieces in my closet that I do still wear to work out sometimes so I chose those tops instead things like tank tops that could go either way I could wear it with a cute pair of jeans or I could wear it to work out in. Even this top, I love these Zara basics and I, in the winter time especially, wear these to work out in. They're just like basic cotton tops, but you could also dress them up. So I try to pick pieces that were multifunctional and I got creative with kind of my outerwear. I have like four different jackets since it is winter time. I chose less sweaters and more jackets. That way I could switch things up as well. I just finished, it's been like an hour. I just finished getting all the footage that I needed for that video. So that's like a huge relief. That was kind of just like weighing on my mind like I needed to start this video I needed to start this video so I'm glad I got my minimalist wardrobe set up I got my camera but now I'm actually gonna do a completely another different video that's actually going up sooner it's going up this this Saturday so I'm gonna bring this into my office but this video is gonna be all about my voiceover work and how I make the title is gonna be how I make 120 plus dollars an hour on Fiverr and that is gonna be doing voiceover work and it's the perfect day to film this. I've been wanting to redo my little voiceover studio and it's the perfect time. I've had all the stuff that I need to redo it. I just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm actually gonna film that so I can show you guys like what I'm doing and it'll make good B-roll content. So I'm gonna redo that. And I already planned this video out like a while ago. So it's all planned. I really just have to film it. And what I like to do first is I film the sit down portion of it because with all the lights and just like if I'm redoing the whole voiceover setup, it's I'm gonna get hot, I'm gonna get sweaty, hair, makeup, it's gonna be a mess. So I try to do it while my hair and makeup is still kind of fresh. The problem I have lately is I feel like my hair has just honestly gone to crap. I haven't dyed it in such a long time, so I feel like it's very healthy. However, it has gotten so thin. The older I get, it's thin, it's fine, and it doesn't want to hold anything anymore. No kind of volume, nothing. So I don't know, like my hair was so curled 
probably even more curled at the beginning of this vlog. But when I do it, it looks great. And then like 30 minutes later, it's like, it's like this. So I just, I combed it out to give it more of a sleek look because that's all I could do lately. So if you have any tips for that, please let me know. Cause my hair is just like not good. It used to be so voluminous. I used to, I think maybe when it was longer, I was able to get some big curls going. I just don't know. Now for this, when I sit down and film, I change my lens out. I use my 30 millimeter have a prime lens like this. A prime lens is one that does not zoom in and out. This one is great. It gives you that nice blurry background. It has a very low f-stop. The f is 1.4 on this. So it's great for low light. It's great for that blurry background. So this is what I like to film with. It is very, very noisy on autofocus. So I do wear my mic with it. That's kind of the only thing I don't like about this because Andy's not here to focus me manually. So I just do that. It's not that big of a dilemma. So I just gotta switch that out, bring in all my lights and film that. All right, my SD card was full, so I wanted to kind of organize everything on my computer before I continue. I think my hair looks flatter than it did in the last clip. Um, that's okay. I wanted to have a little chat with you guys. Where could I put this camera? I don't know, I guess I'll hold it. So as many of you know, I have been doing YouTube and social media full time since I was, I calculated it yesterday, 14 years old. So it's been 12, almost 13 years and I honestly cannot believe it. And with that, you know, I did go to college. I did get my bachelor's degree in marketing and I've always wondered what a corporate job would be like. I feel like I'm just kind of having a midlife, not midlife, but like a quarter life crisis right now where I want something different. I want something new. I kind of want something very stable where I can stop working at five and not think about it. And I've always just wondered what it'd be like just to have a corporate job, work my way up the corporate ladder because I think I would do like really good in a marketing career. And so it's just something I've always wondered about. And I don't know, I'm kind of interested in potentially looking for a, a, a job that's not working from home and being my own boss because there's a lot of pros and cons of both, but for me, I think number one would be stability for the next 10, 20 years. So things YouTubers don't talk about, stability with things like taxes. We have to pay self-employment tax, which is not fun and additional to what people would pay at a normal job. But stuff like health insurance, having paid maternity leave, having paid vacation, like right now, Going on vacation means I'm working a crazy amount before we leave to get everything done that needs to be done while we're gone. And also sometimes working on vacation and it's almost just like my brain never stops. Weekends work, evenings work. I've always struggled with a bit of a balance because I do enjoy work and that's the problem. And part of me thinks if I did get a corporate job, I feel like I would still do YouTube. So then it would be just even more work. I just don't know. And I think a big factor is that I have been doing more or less like the same type of thing for the past 12 years. And I mean, think about it. If you, okay, so a normal person who graduates college would probably start working around 22. So that makes them 34. I feel like I would get tired of doing the same thing. I feel like I've seen a lot of creators lately taking a step away from YouTube for breaks, for to pursue something else and I just don't know. I feel like a lot of us have been on YouTube at this point for quite a while and it's a lot. It's a lot that like weighs on you I feel like but of course I am so so blessed so I definitely just don't want to throw that opportunity away either. So I'm just kind of at a weird point in my life the past couple years. I've just kind of just I don't know what I'm saying, but I don't know. I love to hear your thoughts, feedback. You know, if you have a corporate job, do you like it? Could you see yourself wanting a career change? Can you see yourself wanting to work from home or do you love what you do? I just don't know. I feel like even if I did get a corporate job, like maybe it wouldn't be a forever thing. It would be maybe like a five to 10 year thing or maybe just a one to five year thing. I, I just don't know. I feel like I'm just going through a quarter life crisis and I don't know what to do. I'm kind of ready for something different. 
I just, oh, I would just love some feedback, comments, talk me out of it, talk me into it in the comments below. I just love to see various viewpoints on the subject. Uh, I think it might be helpful. All right, I'm done with the filming that I had to do today. So I'm happy I just have to get some more B-roll tomorrow. Um, for Saturday's video, but I got a lot done. Oh, I think it's almost three o'clock. So got, yeah, I've been doing that for a while, but I went ahead and made the bed so I can show you guys. But I made the bed, so I wanted to show you guys. I absolutely love it. I wanted a low profile bed and I'm so glad I found one that could fit an adjustable mattress. So I really like it, it's cozy, kind of modern. I like how these look just like giant pillows back here. I love how it matches with the DIY wall we did. We still need to find lights. We wanna get pendant lights and hang them to kind of break up this light uh, wall some. You guys remember our new rug? That's completely like ruined now. So our yard, as you guys have seen, is like a clay mess. So Matt can't help it and even when it doesn't seem like he's tracking stuff in, he tracks stuff in. So this was kind of like off beige to start. It looks really dirty next to white, but this is kind of like off beige. I've tried steam cleaning it and it's just not really working. I'm just gonna leave it for now and then maybe this spring we'll hopefully have a yard and I'll have to deal with this. But I'm thinking more of that, what's that material? It's not wicker. It's like, um, maybe not like a jute rug, but something like that natural fiber material that'll stay clean, I think, a lot easier and not stain. I don't know what I was thinking with the light colored rug. I really wanted everything to be light, um, but I think I'm gonna have to go with that different texture and I think it'll stay clean a little better, but I absolutely love how it all looks. I also have these things back here that I haven't been able to find a vase I like for, so they're just resting. So I was thinking of getting a rug, maybe kind of like this color, a little darker. Um, the bed itself is like a natural color, but to me it looks like it's pulling through some like cool tones and grays. All right, I just got done like cleaning the kitchen, unloading the dishwasher, kind of wiping everything down, and I've just been sitting here drawing, waiting for Andy to come home. I want to show you guys these drawings I've been doing on my iPad. I've been having so much fun. I just did Luna, which I think came out okay. I did Mac yesterday and I think it came out so good. Um, but I've been enjoying this just so much. I think I wanna do Andy and I next, like those faceless drawings, if you've seen those. So there's the picture and there's like kind of like the cartoon pop art drawing. And then I think Max came out super cute from the one I did yesterday. So there's the original. There's the drawing I did. I've thought of kind of like selling these on Etsy or something. I'm not sure. If you guys think they're cute or you want to get your own pet um, and you want to buy something like this, just DM me on Instagram. I don't even know how much to charge. Maybe like 20 bucks for a digital copy because um, it does take quite a while, but I don't know. I just have so much fun doing it. So if you want to get your pets done, just DM me. We'll figure it out. PayPal, Venmo, whatever it does. It's, this is just like a fun little project, nothing too serious. But I just have so much more experimenting to do. Uh, so I'm gonna try another one this evening before Andy gets home probably. All right, I just finished this one of us and I definitely like the animals better. So here's the before and the after. And I was also playing around a little bit with watercolor. So if you want to get your pets drawn or even if you're a couple and you want to get yourself drawn, I think the pets I'll probably do for like 20 and the actual people for 30 because that took a lot longer. But yeah, just like DM me, message me anywhere, really just get a hold of me and I'll get drawing. And yeah, so that took a little while, but I enjoyed like messing around with it. I still don't know like all the features on here and how to like do everything so i'm kind of learning as i go but i enjoy that stuff so anyways i think that's going to be it for today's video i'm going to go ahead and get some dinner made but thank you guys so much for watching as always especially if you made it to the end of this video and i will see you very soon bye